Welcome to Splat Communications. Let this serve as a warning to those who attempt to evade justice. Such is an exercise in futility. The arm of the law is long and it will reach you. This government continues in its duty to apply the rule of law. In the land of misinformation, I'm the truth seeker. Cut through the lies like a shout out. Judith and Gina, Agustina Arabo, Ferry Coy, Cliff Lucas, Evo 321, Mommy Pia R, Jin Singwengan, Giorgio Salcedo. I wanna be free. Living for God Truth. Inisa de la Torre. Wenny Annie. Alexander Bronio. Prasad Gentes. Rob Akkad. Agosto Magandang araw po sa lahat. Wina po ito ng Splat Communications and welcome to our channel. Ngayon po ay mayroon kaming bagong video para sa inyo na sigurado naming kakapulutan ninyo ng bagong impormasyon at kaalaman. Para po sa mga bago pa lang dito sa ating channel, huwag pong kalilimutan na mag-subscribe at mag-follow. Ugaliin din po na i-share ang ating videos para po mapagtulungan natin ang laban sa fake news, misinformation at disinformation. Hit the bell po para lagi pong updated kapag may bago tayong video, at higit sa lahat, please don't skip ads. This will go a long way in helping us continue the work that we do maraming salamat po. Hey, I'm Angela, and welcome to Splat News Update, your comprehensive source for the latest and most significant news from the Philippines and around the world. We bring you a succinct roundup of the day's top stories, keeping you informed, engaged, and empowered. From breaking news to in-depth analysis, Splat News Update delivers a concise and balanced views of the pressing issues that impact us all. Our team works tirelessly to bring you the stories that matter. You know we are dedicated to accuracy, veracity, and integrity. Fugitive Bambin Tarlak Mayor Alice Gu captured in Indonesia, splat developing story. Dismissed Bambin, Tarlak Mayor Alice Gu was reportedly arrested in Indonesia, according to the National Bureau of Investigation. NBE Director James Santiago confirmed the development in a Radio Du PM interview on Wednesday, citing information from Santiago. Senator Sherwin Gachalian said Gu was arrested in Tangerine City, Jakarta, Indonesia, at 1.30 on September 4, 2024. She is currently in the custody of the Indonesian police at Jatanris Mabes Polri, Gachalian said in a statement to reporters. Gu is expected to be returned to the country soon. Santiago said Gu will first be taken to the Bureau of Immigration before being handed over to the NBI. Kababayan, on or about 1 o'clock a.m. 4 September, Alice Gu, also known as Gu Waping, was arrested in Tangerang City, Jakarta, Indonesia. I congratulate all law enforcement personnel who made this apprehension possible. The public may not know the intricate details of this mission that you have successfully accomplished, but on their behalf, accept my thanks. The Philippines also thanks the Indonesian government for their assistance on this matter. The close cooperation between our two governments has made this arrest possible. Let this serve as a warning to those who attempt to evade justice. Such is an exercise in futility. The arm of the law is long and it will reach you. This government continues in its duty to apply the rule of law. Ms. Go shall be entitled to all legal protections due her under the laws of the land and pursuant to our commitment to the rule of law. But we will not allow this to prolong the resolution of the case, whose outcome will be a victory for the Filipino people. Thank you and good day. He added that charges will be filed against Gu before she is brought to the Senate. Gu's sister, Sheila Gu, and business associate Cassandra Lee Ong have been arrested last month and are now detained in the country. Sheila said she and Alice left the Philippines by boat. The former mayor has been the subject of scrutiny over her alleged ties to Philippine offshore gaming operator firms in Bambin. 
Alice Gu's arrest in Indonesia highlights the complexities of international law enforcement collaboration and the extent of her alleged involvement in illicit activities. Gu has been under scrutiny for her connections to Pogo operations and alleged money laundering schemes that are said to involve massive sums of money, impacting both local and national governance integrity. This arrest not only underscores the broader issues of corruption among public officials, but also the challenges in regulating and monitoring Pogos, which have been linked to numerous illegal activities in the Philippines. Gu's flight and subsequent capture illustrate the gaps in accountability mechanisms and the lengths to which some public officials may go to evade justice. Kami po ay sumasang-ayon sa nabanggit ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. na responsibilidad at tungkulin ng pamahalaan ang pagpapatupad sa rule of law. Para po sa amin, ito ang pundasyon ng isang sibilisadong pamayanan. Kapag umiiral ang rule of law o ng batas, Naiiwasan ang anarkiya na dulot ng mga grupong naglalayong sirain ang ating bansa at ang ating lipunan. Ang matalas na pahayag ni President BBM ukol sa pagtugis at hindi pagtatagumpay ng lahat ng mga taong tumatakbo sa batas ay isang matinding babala na handang pagbayari ng kanyang administrasyon ang lahat ng may mga pananagutan sa bayan. Nangangahulugan din kaya ito na kapag lumabas ang warrant of arrest ng ICC laban kay Digong at iba pang mga akusado sa madugong war on drugs ay hahayaan niya ang international police o interpol na ihain ito. Sa aming palagay, hudyat na po ito na ganun na nga po ang mangyayari. Hindi man kilalanin ang pamahalaan ni Pangulong BBM ang jurisdiksyon ng International Criminal Court ay hindi naman ito tahasang hahadlangan ang pakikipagtulungan sa international police. Kaya, maghanda na ang mga sangkot sa kaso sa ICC. Kayo ang nagsimula ng paninira, pang-aalipusta, pagbibintang ng walang basihan at pagpapalabas ng peking video at mga aligasyon laban kay Pangulong Marcos Jr. kasama ang tahasang destabilisasyon ng pamahalaan. Ihanda niyo lahat ang sarili niyo. Karma is digital. What can you say? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. We hope you learned something new today. In behalf of the entire Splat Communications team, thank you. Till next time. Please pray for world peace, please pray for the Philippines and the Filipinos. Stay safe. Rosa out. Bye. In a world unfolding, where stories come alive, amidst the chaos, there's a truth we strive. Splat Communications The voice that breaks the mold Reliable and relevant We're here to unfold yeah. Breaking down the walls Moving side by side Splat Communications Our truth we can't hide We're the source you lean on